sex is uh, conjugal love. That's why we are in the uh, lineage from Lord Chaitanya, Mahaprabhu. Because he came in that mood of conjugal love. And then we're following in his footsteps. So we're also attracted to that mood. So we don't want to go to Tathashta. We want to go to, we don't even want to go to Vaikuntha. We want to go to Goloka. Because in Goloka Vrindavan, the Lord accepts that mood of conjugal service. Huh? He's open to that. You have to become a resident of Vrindavan. That's why we're here. Why are we here? There's cows everywhere. You walk up and back up in these hills, and it's just like the descriptions of Vrindavan. Huh? The, the boys went to the swimming hole the other day, and uh, it's like there's like carpets of sweet smelling flowers and orchids. Wow. Yeah, and, and pools and waterfalls and fresh running streams and cows everywhere. <laughs> so this is more like Vrindavan than Vrindavan, you know. If you go to Vrindavan, India now, it's a desert. Why? Too many sinful activities. Huh? So uh, because of that, now the, the Lord is withdrawing his dham. It becomes harder and harder to access the feeling. What was that? Oh. The, the Lord's actual um, um, abode when you go to Vrindavan, India, because of all the tourists and all the Muslims, and they're all eating meat, and oh, it's nasty. Uh, so we, went to, we were in a place that has that Vrindavan atmosphere naturally. Uh, because of the land. The land here has a lot of mode of goodness. So we chose this place deliberately uh, to be in a, in a place that has that energy so that we can perform devotional activities and always think of Krishna very nicely. We don't have to worry about politics. We don't have to worry about all these other spiritual groups and competition with us and um, trying to defeat us philosophically. And, if we were in Vrindavan, India, we would have so many problems. Huh? So here, we don't have any problems. It's great. <laughs> no question. Mm -hmm. Did you talk about the mood of Om Hari Om or Om Namah Shivaya? Oh, we're not into that at all. If you want to go to those places, you see, where do you want to go? Japa Mantra is your spiritual destination. Why? Because by chanting japa over and over and over, you are creating so many impressions of spiritual quality in the mind. And at the time of death, these impressions will come back out. Huh? People say, who's asking this? Peter. Peter. Oh, Peter. When you, at the time of death, the mind unreels. Huh? It's like it's put on fast forward and it, it un, unreels all the impressions digested during the entire lifetime. So depending on the quality of these impressions, that determines your destination in the next life. Krishna says, yang yang vapi smaran bhavam tyajitante kalevaram tang tam evaiti konteya sadatad bhava bhavita Whatever the quality of the consciousness that you remember at the time of death, that's where you go in the next life. So, if we spend our whole life doing japa of Ram, 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 we go to Ram. If we chant Om Namo Narayanaya, we go to Narayan. If we chant Om Namo Shivaya, we go to Shiva. Huh? But if we chant Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya, we go to Krishna. Or Hare Krishna, we go, to, we go to Krishna in Vrindavan. You see? That's why these different japa mantras, they determine our destination in the next life. So we should take a mantra that gives us the destination according to our spiritual aspirations. And according to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, we should all aspire to go to Goloka Vrindavan, because that's the highest bliss. And you can only get in there every once in a while. It's not like you can get in Goloka Vrindavan any time you want. Huh? Most of the time, 
people only have this Narayan mantra or Vishnu, some Vishnu mantra. So they can get maybe to Vaikuntha at the most. But because we're following Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, we have Krishna mantras, uh, Vasudev. Those are very special. And we should be uh, very alert to take this opportunity to try to get to the highest destination. Because even if we fail, we'll still get a really wonderful result. Mm -hmm. uh, so is our, our spiritual identity, is it already, de I mean, is it already determined as to what our... It's not determined, it's who you are. So the fact that I have to realize that identity of mine... You just remember it. If you, re if you see Krishna, you will also see who you are in relationship to Krishna. When you realize Krishna, you realize Krishna, Krishna's form, Krishna's personality, Krishna's abode, Krishna's associates, huh? and you also realize yourself and who you are in Krishna's pastimes. So by chanting the Hare Krishna mantra, can you also realize that you don't belong in Krishna Vrindavan, but rather in more like a Vaikuntha relationship? Is that? I suppose so. But if you have access to the Krishna, Hare Krishna mantra, what, the, the inhabitants of, of Vaikuntha are all aspiring to go to Goloka. Huh? Lakshmi Devi, it says she's, she is uh, uh, doing austerity on the banks of the Jamuna, trying to become elevated to Gopi. Versus the Krishna Rasa dance. Yeah, yeah. This Rasa dance is a very special thing. And we know the rhythm of the rasa dance. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Huh? You know that, that kirtan you wrote? Well, we're gonna do. We're gonna learn how to do that. <laughs> Hare Krishna, Hare. Krishna, 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 Hare, 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 Rama, Hare, Rama, 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 Hare, Hare. Huh? We're going to do that so that everybody can learn that rhythm. That's the natural rhythm of the Maha Mantra. Because the long and short syllables of Sanskrit, they line themselves up like that. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Uh, the 22 beat cycle. So we should be uh, chanting, huh? And 22 Shrutis. Yeah, and 22 Shrutis. Oh, what a coincidence. Anyway, we should be. Uh, anxious to chant the Maha Mantra in the original rhythm of the Rasa dance because that, that catchy rhythm is the, uh, the key to entering Krishna's pastimes. Uh, there's a story that one time Radharani and some of the gopis, her chief gopis, were visiting in Dwarka and all the queens of Dwarka asked, please demonstrate the Rasa dance. So Radha and the gopis did a little bit of the rasa dance, and everybody was going, oh, that's so far out, you know, that's so wonderful. And Radha was going, this is nothing. You should do this in the middle of the forest, in the dead of night. Then you would understand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, any other questions? Yes. Uh, from Luciano. Sorry, it's not too foolish, but I need more elaboration. The chanting of the Maha Mantra cleanses our heart soul. So if we are making honest effort to follow all the principles, I do not fully understand why we cannot chant the Maha Mantra. What's the difference between honest effort and actually, and actually following? If you make honest effort and you can't follow, then you're not qualified. It's very clear. Yeah, like Yoda says, there is no try. Do or not do. <laughs>
Yeah. So if you're trying, that means you're not doing. <laughs> so you're, you're not qualified. Wait until you're qualified. Chant Dvarshakshara mantra, and then when you're qualified, when you can easily follow these principles uh, with confidence, then gradually chant Maha Mantra. Yeah, just be a little patient. It's just like when Srila Prabhupada left this world, you know? Everybody said, who's going to be the next guru? Well, wait a minute. There's just, just slow down there, young whippersnappers. <laughs> Hold your horses. Huh? What's the big rush? Why not wait until Krishna reveals... And in the meantime, 